Mali's interim president and prime minister resigned on Wednesday, two days after they were arrested by the military, an aide to the vice president said, deepening a political crisis and potentially setting up a standoff with international powers. President Bando and Prime Minister Mottar Awan were taken to a military base outside the capital on Monday after a cabinet reshuffle in which two officers lost their posts. The intervention led by Vice President Assimi Goita has jeopardized Mali's transition back to democracy after a coup in August overthrew former President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita. The United Nations Security Council has added its voice to a chorus of international condemnation amid fears a political crisis in Bamako could affect regional security. Goita, a colonel, also orchestrated last year's coup. He has promised that elections planned for next year will go ahead. The president and his prime minister have resigned. Negotiations are ongoing for their liberation and the formation of a new government, said Babasis, an aide to Goita, in comments sent by the military to Reuters. The UN Security Council met privately on Wednesday over Mali and in a statement called for the safe immediate and unconditional release of all the officials detained. The 15-member council affirmed that imposing a change of transitional leadership by force, including through forced resignations, is unacceptable. Goita has defended his actions, saying the president and prime minister had violated the transitional charter by failing to consult him about the new cabinet, 